In this video, I'm going to show you how to add radio buttons to your product variation within WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. To do this, we're going to use the variation swatches plugin by WooSuite. So just type in WooSuite.com and then just navigate to product variation. I'll leave a link in the description below as well. There is a free version, but for this example, we're going to be using a pro feature. So you will need the pro version to be able to do this. So once you've downloaded a plugin and activated it, you'll just go add, well, navigate to plugins, add new, and then upload the plugin in which you just downloaded. Once you've done so, you'll see this Woo Suite menu here. Um, since I've already got the variation swatches installed and activate, when you first download the plugin, you'll need to go to activate, activate your license key navigate to add-ons and then you will see variation swatches just toggle it on once you've done so you'll see this variation swatches menu okay so once you've decided on which um, variation attribute you want to actually convert into a radio button then you want to navigate back to your dashboard here and then you'll see this option called enable radio button swatches just go ahead and toggle this on and I'm going to do it for our color swatch. So I'm going to disable this one here. So I'm going to disable this option. And then I'm going to enable this radio button swatches here. And then I'm just going to select color swatch with our color attribute. And then just hit save. And it's as simple as that. Once it's saved, we can go ahead and recheck our page. So if we refresh this page, now we'll see it's a radio button instead. We can also see there's an extra border here around our circular radio button. To get rid of that, we'll navigate back to our settings page and we can toggle this to make it smaller as well. And then just click on the design section and then where it says item styling, let's toggle this on. And then here we can see we've got a border swatch here. We can go ahead and just set this to zero and save changes and then let's go ahead and refresh our page and there you can see the extra border that was here before is now been removed we can also um, customize the color as well of our swatches but that's for another video if we wanted to change the size attribute into a radio button we can do the same by heading back over to our settings page and then we'll just select the particular um, attribute that we want to convert into a radio button so let's select size for example so here we've got a conflicting rule so we've got size selected in this um, auto convert to label button so ideally we'd want to deselect this one first and then we can leave this one enable I'm just going to go ahead and toggle this off as well and then let's save changes so now both our color attribute and size attribute should be a radio button so let's just double check okay so it's in settings been saved let's refresh this page and there we go uh, customers can quickly select um, the particular product in which they want if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more videos like this all the links and resources mentioned is in the description below and if you've got any questions feel free to reach out to our support team or leave a comment in the comment box below